Let's add this cool animated item to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom animated item to Minecraft and this is actually far easier than you might expect. So in our item package in the mod items class, we're going to just copy over the citrine boots, why not? And we're going to make a new item called magic underscore dust. And of course, making this the name as well, magic underscore dust. And this is going to be a normal item. So we only need some item properties right here. And that is pretty much all that we need. So the item class in this case is just going to be a normal item. Hmm, curious, curious. So let's add the translation here, of course. This is just going to be not in the block, but actually in the item. So let's just duplicate this with control D and this is going to be the magic underscore dust. And of course, this is going to be the magic dust. There you go. And then the question is, well, it's probably going to be a very complex item model file, right? A JSON file. So I'm just going to copy this over and we're going to see the craziness that await us. What is it's just a normal file. Exactly. It is just a normal file. We're just pointing to one particular texture because the thing that well makes this animated is actually well both the texture and the associated MC meta file. Mm, so let's take a look at this. I'm gonna um, I'm actually gonna copy over both of those. You can see this is the MC meta file. And how does the texture look like? Well, it looks like this. In this case, we have six textures just on top of each other. They're all 16 by 16 and they will loop through those. So with these frames here, with the animation, the MC meta file, we're basically going to loop through those. If we enable interpolation, that just means that we're sort of fading in and out through the different textures. And you can see some examples in the external libraries as well. So this is once again, a really great moment to go into the external libraries. And you want to go to net Minecraft client extra 181 or whatever your version might be in the assets folder, Minecraft textures, and then you can either go into the item or the block folder. And for example, here we can search for magma. There you go. And here is the magma MC meta file. You can see this is the magma MC meta file and this is the magma texture. So this is why magma gets this, you know, very tiny shimmering changing texture. It's just those three textures that are changing, as you can see, with a frame time of eight. So this just controls how fast it's changing. Just can highly recommend playing around with the numbers a little bit here, playing around with using interpolate or not, and then just changing which frames are displayed and in what order, basically. But that is all that you need for either the item animated textures or even block animated textures. So this should be fairly trivial at this point. You can always take a look at the external libraries for some other examples. So I'm very much sure that if you want a block that is a little bit animated like this, you should be able to manage that no problem whatsoever. But that is actually all that we need to add. So let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the animated texture has been successfully added to the game. And it looks freaking amazing. You can see that it is fairly slow. But this is, of course, something that you can basically just change with the actual frame time in the MC Meta file. So that is how easy it can be to add an animated item texture to Minecraft. Right, and like always, all of the code is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual just as well. Otherwise, this is it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And special golden thanks go out to MC Arctic for actually supporting me with the gold block tier. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.